Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech.com. Today I wanted to show you the Mophie Juice Pack. Uh, we did an unboxing the other day, um, and I used it for a couple days, and I wanted to give you my impressions of it. First of all, I have to tell you, I really like it. Um, it did, I did have a little bit of issue here and there with it, but it, it always charged the iPhone like it's supposed to. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute, what, you know, what I ran into. But first things first, it's just a, uh, if you're unfamiliar, it's just a battery pack. It does offer a little bit of protection on the back and the sides. You can see it's just a, it's basically a case. You have your, your uh, dot connector uh, for your iPhone. Um, this material is like a soft plastic. It's kind of a, it's, it doesn't, it's not cheap. It feels like maybe something you'd have in a, a, a decent car. Um, and then the back here, this is really soft. The back has almost a little bit of a rubbery feel to it. Uh, because of that, I've noticed that I've been throwing this in my laptop bag and then using it when I need to. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some scuffs on here. And it's not a big deal. I mean, it's there to charge your iPhone. You know, it's not, it's your iPhone you want to keep pristine. So, um, you know, it doesn't offer a whole lot in the way of protection. Uh, you do have that helps when you're holding it. You do have these rubber grips. These are just solid rubber. Uh, they help you know when you're holding this way. You can hold on to it pretty firmly. Uh, the other thing they they did think of a lot of. Uh, they did have some nice you know add some nice touches to it. Had some you know paid a little bit of attention. Everything's molded really well uh, in here. You know there's no flashing or anything left over from. Uh, for manufacture and molding or anything. The other thing they did too is right here, you can see these little indents here. These are for the speakers. And on the inside, it curves down. So you can, you know, it, it lets you talk and it, there is no, uh, I had no problem talking on it and having people hear me. No complaints, anything like that. Uh, it just picks up sound and kind of redirects it to the speaker around or redirects it back out if you're playing music or using it as a speaker phone. I have to tell you, uh, it, it did screw up a little bit. The second time I plugged out or slid my iPhone into this, the back lights kind of started to blink weird. And uh, what I found is I just unplugged my iPhone, let it sit for a second, and it was fine. And uh, I don't know if that was just it, commun you know, it, it trying to see what kind of battery life it had left in it. It had two lights at that time. They would blink a little bit and it wouldn't charge the iPhone. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, it was fine. So I don't know if that's just, you know, who knows what that is, but it, it works fine. It's not going to harm anything. It just wouldn't charge the iPhone when it did that. Uh, the other thing they did on here that was actually a nice touch is this, this mini USB um, allows this to connect to your Mac or PC or whatever you're using and uh, sync through that. So you don't need to carry an extra dock cable with it. You just plug it into here, plug in your mini USB and you're good to go. So that that was really, that's actually a nice feature it has. So let me go ahead and put the iPhone in it. <clears throat> and you can see it just slides in like this. And right when you get to this dock connector down here, it does push pretty hard. There we go. And then instantly you hear the iPhone, and it's charging now. Now after using this for a few days, what I did is I had my iPhone on a full charge at one point, let the iPhone run all the way down until it said there was 10%, I think it was, first it gives you a warning there's 20% battery life, then I think, whoops, 10%. 10, uh, 10%. Then I actually let the iPhone kind of die. It wouldn't, you know, just when you hit the button, if you have one of these, um, you hit you hit the top button, it would come on and you know give you the battery charge sign. So I plugged it in, let it charge, and uh, used it throughout the day, let it charge fully. Um, it charged charged up fully, and uh, then I took the iPhone out of it, drained the iPhone back down, and then charged the iPhone again. What I found is this Mophie juice pack will charge just about one and a half to one and three quarter times. Uh, right in between a half and three quarters, the, the life I got out of it, um, which I thought that that's pretty impressive. Now you don't want to use this. I, I personally am not going to use this all the time with this, you know, this kind of thickness. I usually use just a slip pouch. Uh, I have a couple of cases, 
I usually use just this cheap, I actually bought this off eBay for five dollars. I just use that, it's kind of, I just slide my iPhone in there just to keep it out of the way when it's not in another case and throw it in my pocket. Picks up a lot of lint, but um, this, but this Mopey juice pack in, in your pocket is a little bit more bulky, but it's not to the point where it's going to drive you crazy unless you're wearing, uh, you know, some tight pants or something, you know. <laughs> if you are just got a, a loose pair of jeans on, didn't pick up any lint, have any problems. Um, in here, this isn't going to move around. It's in here extremely snug. In fact, it's kind of difficult to pull this out at times. You kind of have to really, it's really, uh, I found having to grab like this and pull. And then it slides out. Uh, but it really is, it's in here really snug. I mean, I could show you uh, if you do this. I mean, I'm not going to just do it as hard as I can, but if you do this, it's not sliding out any further. So let me go ahead and just click that back in. Um, so I was really impressed. It probably takes real world time to charge this. See, now it's down to three bars. It's already charging the iPhone. It charges it just as fast as the, the wall plug, I found. Um, the juice pack charges probably full charge in three hours, somewhere around there. You know, realistically, you want a full charge, probably two, three. Uh, I didn't really time it, per se, but I just noticed what time it was. kind of looked. I, I think it was closer to three hours it took to charge this. So it's definitely nice to have around, especially if you got a laptop bag, or uh, you just want to keep it in here. It's not not too thick where it's going to be a pain, well, especially if you're going to just throw it in a bag or something. Uh, you will want to have some sort of screen protector, probably, and this does have have one on it. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, I was really impressed with it. It's it's built well. Other than that one little fluke I had with it, you know, I, I don't consider that a big deal. I you know. Most people are used to restarting Windows, you know, maybe just unplug it, plug it back in. Not a big deal. So, um, I, that's pretty much it. I mean, you, you know, it's it's pretty obvious what you have. You have your buttons here cut out. You have your camera lens cut out. And, uh, you know, not it doesn't offer a lot of protection, but it's, I mean, it made it, you know, not having to think about plugging in your iPhone every day is, is nice to have this sitting around. I would definitely recommend, uh, if you get one, you know, they're $99, you can pick them up Mophie's site or, uh, you know, lots of other places sell them. I, I would highly, highly recommend this if you, if you need a longer battery life. And uh, you don't add or mind adding the bulk onto your phone. It's it's really high quality. It's built well, and uh, you know I, I I highly recommend it. Like I said, so if you uh, if you need that extra battery life, check it out. Um, it's called the Mophie Juice Pack, and uh, like I said, it's it, it's definitely worth checking out.